Well, hello, 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 ladies. How are we? We're freaking amazing. 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 Happy Gaw TV Day. Here we are. I'm so excited to see you. I'm so excited to see everyone watching at home and below in the chat room, in the live chat, as we always do here on Wednesday, every Wednesday, hashtag Gaw TV Day. That mm -hmm. is a hashtag. Get it. Get it. Get it, girl. Get it. Get it. Get it. Before we start, though, there is very important business that we must attend to, and that is use those thumbs. Hit that like button. We appreciate it. We love you. We appreciate you for it. And we can have a little thumb war, right? I'm Rob Van. I got the thumb. What did you use? Who's to say got me? thumbs? thumbs. Da -na -na -na. <laughs> <laughs> subscribe today because you know speaking of rob van dam we've had rob van dam on the show yeah we've had so many of our amazing friends both in wrestling and life on the show and we don't want you to miss it so if you subscribe you will never miss an episode with the three of us with all of our friends as we celebrate all things wrestling in and outside of wrestling and life here on god tv and last thing our favorite thing Hit that bell icon. Get it, get it, get it, get it. So you're always notified when we're on the air. Yes. When we're sharing some love. Yes. It's like Aerosmith says, you don't want to miss a thing. Yeah. Never. A in there. A thing. And a thang. speaking of not missing a thing, yeah, that's like the most used wedding song ever, isn't it? Is it, it really? It is. You know what? Actually, I, I'm like everyone has used that song. Actually, Tracy and Frankie, I believe, used that song at their wedding too. Aww. It's a very sweet song. I did. I'll, I'll be there. By Michael Jackson. That's so cute. Yeah. I, I was going to do Smack My Bitch Up by Prodigy. Uh huh. Was, yeah. Right. Yeah. It did. My, my, my other song is What Did I Do? <laughs> <laughs> bad decisions. Yeah. Bad decisions. Yeah. Oh this is going to hurt. Uh, well, as Mickey said, you don't want to miss a thing. And if you really, really want to support God TV, you can do so by joining patreon.com slash God TV for all of our exclusives, early access to episodes, the juicy, juicy version. Yes. And for our gorgeous patrons. That's the cream of the crop. Mm -hmm. The tip of the top. It is. If you want to be gorgeous with us, you can join the very tippity top cream of the crop, as Mickey says, top tier. And this month's reward is coming from me personally. You're going to get not one, not two, but three of my signed photos. And I did kiss print a few of them if you guys want Yes, a little right here. smoochy on the boochy is what we said. Smoochy on the boochy. I'm going to give you that one. <laughs> I'm going to give you this one. And I think this might be my favorite because it looks kind of like it a is. postcard from California. That it does. One of my it's favorite beautiful. Photos. I, I usually sign it, greetings from California, wish you were here. So three photos are going to go to uh, to you if you're our top tier patron only for this month. So please uh, click that link below in the description. If you want to support the show, the place to do it is certainly Patreon. And I'm so excited for next month because what is Mickey going to um, uh, be? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, don't tell us. I want the I want a surprise. Okay. okay. Like a surprise when you um, listen to us on our Godcast, yeah. downloaded by... Uh, Ella, Ella J, a wrestling gal. Thank That's you so right. much for that. And you can listen to us on Spotify and watch the whole cheeky, cheeky, unedited version, which right? is kind of a little scary and dangerous. Yeah. But, you know, <laughs> forgive us, you know, right? Right. And um, yeah. you can listen to us yeah, at the gym. Hey, look at those headphones. Look it's at like you that. guys. Oh, look at you. That My birthday gift from you, Mickey. <laughs> so cool. Oh, red's your color, you know. Wiki, 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 wiki. <laughs> DJ Jazzy Lisa. Yes, I took DJ lessons back in the day. I bet That's another story for another you? time. I did on vinyl, stupid ass. Vinyl. I should have done CDs, yeah, stupid. Lisa, before we get to going, um, while we're here, we're celebrating all the things. So um, what about when I called you from Dallas with your old cheerleading friend? Eric I Little. Eric what? Little. I no. cannot believe how small the world is. What? He was our he was our yell leader. That's what we called the guys. And he was our choreographer. He was um in NCA, which is a big like a, a higher up uh cheerleading where they you National go to Cheer cheerleading. Association or something. That's yes. it, baby. I was NCA. I yeah. got all American cheerleader award at NCA. No, knuckle bump on that one. Go ahead, oh, girl. Knuckle bump. Ooh. Watch out, watch out for that fist. That's wow. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my God. Look, how great. Oh, how great nails. Is she, Mickey? Look at those pretty nails. She hit us with oh, the nails. Wow. That's how girly I am. I was like punching. Then I was oh, like, Oh, I jacked my nails. camera up, you guys. What did you I did. do? Oh, oh those hands. Those hands. You're you can't do that. No, I was I said, bragging about my new <laughs> camera. <gasps> oh, Shiza. <laughs> We gotta leave this in. I'm not editing this out. This I was just there bragging you know. about my new camera, and I just and now I know. Do not punch. Do not air punch it. Don't work punch it. You hit because it. it messes up the focus. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So how great was Eric Little? He was so sweet. So I was doing the appearance in Texas. I was just at the Bell County Comic Con, which was so fun, by the way. However, I'm in the hotel bar. Weird, right? Um, no. <laughs> What? I love a hotel Weird. So, uh, and I'm there, and then there was this random guy kind of sitting in the back at the tables, and he was clearly by himself, just kind of casually. I'm like, he's not a Comic Con guy, and I was like, well, maybe he's an actor. He looks like he could be an actor, but he looks, you know. Um, and then randomly, I don't know if I went up to him or if he said, "Are you the wrestler?" Because he oh. had already asked, because he's staying in the same hotel for a cheer competition or something. He's there early for, I guess there's some competition getting ready to happen there. Um, and he still works with cheer and all that stuff. So, he, and I'm like, yeah. And then he said, do you know Lisa Varone? Like that. Do you know? And I'm like, what? What? <laughs> what? Of, yes, I do. And anyway, so he started, he's like, oh my God. Um, and told, started telling me that they used to cheer together or whatever. And I'm looking at the time. So honestly, when I'm looking at it, I, I go like, Lisa's in bed. So I don't yeah. know what's going to, so I text her like, do you, I was like, let's take a selfie. Cause I also, you always want to test the waters. You want to see if people are legit. And so I was going to see what Lisa said back, back, like, no, I don't know that guy or whatever. But she was like, oh my God, we were like brother and sister. Oh, like, totally. So, so this, I thought this was like a story from ages ago. This was just this past no, weekend. This past weekend. Yeah. He and also too, like him and I um, were, we were made fun of being really skinny in high school. Not anymore. Not anymore. And <laughs> him and I went to um, one of the, it wasn't GNC at the time a help, to get weight gainer because he had knobby knees. So did I, you know, cheerleading and stuff like that. And um, we bought weight gainer together and we were like, don't tell anybody that we're trying to gain weight right now. Yeah. So funny. Yeah. So anyway, I ended up FaceTiming Lisa after she responded. And she clearly, she's like, you could see it. She's happy. She's pulling herself up. She's like, oh my God. That's and they so ended funny. up FaceTiming for like, I don't know, an hour. I was, I just let him go. I was like, okay, just give me my phone when you're telling yeah, yeah, exactly. They, uh, I said this actually on stage last week. And I was like, in, in a funny way, I'm not being funny. Comic cons bring people together. Like it's yeah. kind of sappy thing to say, but it's the truth. Yeah. It was fun. Yeah. So I didn't mean to go off on topic, but I was just like, it was so amazing. It was That's so hilarious. Fun. So, funny. so amazing. I'm yeah. amazing. Just like our amazing guest tonight. Yes. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh my God. The best partner I've, I've ever had. Um, Not to crap on other, any other of my partners, but Stevie Richards, man. Um, yes. made me. He is the freaking best. And we're going to hear, let's introduce Stevie Richards. I'm so excited Here to talk go. to him. Here we go. Yay. Yes. Hey! 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 Look at that set up. Stevie, welcome awesome. to the show. I have that same video game. Yeah, the Retro Mania one. Nick's on yes. the Yes. Yeah. You're in that game. Retro Mania. Boom, 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 boom. I couldn't Nick. get in on my talent. I had the politic. Nick was strictly on talent. So I not channel it. You better quit it. Little backstory. Hi, I feel, you, I feel your pain. I feel your pain. <laughs> Little Victoria. Yep. Yeah. I got. Oh, we're oh so happy. God. Thank you yeah. so much oh for coming God. on the show. Woo! Stevie Richards, you look great. You look so fit. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I extra, extra cardio to try to lean out before this uh, appearance. I was nervous. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, well, you know, we like to start the that show. With great too. You look exactly the same, or if not better. So good for you guys. Yay! Oh, uh, no. Thanks. A little, a little filter. Oh, the wine preserves me. filter. You can come on all the time. Mm. You know, it's just ego boosters all all day. All you day. Know, we start the show with like a little icebreaker um, with who you wearing, what you drinking. I can go <laughs> first. I'm wearing, I'm drinking a little Coke Zero here for you know, and my little preppy pirates tank top. 
right. noise. You had a busy morning. You had a busy what morning. Maker. What are you vibing on, sir? Besides the Retromania game in the back, which I'm excited about to talk about. Are we, did we actually start the show? Am I? Is it? Oh, you're oh, in yeah. it. Oh, yeah. 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 You're in oh. it. You're in it to win it. Oh, I didn't know if there's some official intro that I had to be a part of. Wait, so what is it now? What am I wearing and what else? And what are you drinking? What are you imbibing? What you're wearing. Yeah. Who you wearing? What you drinking? All right, I'm going to go to the opposite way and be different. This is a pretty much water with uh, Publix flavor, water flavoring, strawberry. Nice. And I have a grand total of $15 worth of clothes on. This is 32 <laughs> degrees. The shirt is $4.99 and the shorts are five. Well, actually $11. Look at there. We See, the look what we have in common. Well, We're bargain. Very frugal. We're very, very frugal. Very frugal. Frugal fashionistas yeah. in the house. Hey, you guys got me. I thought all the art stuff was off air stuff, but it was very candid. So I'll there there. you go. Yeah. You that oh, so show. sorry. Yeah. So sorry, Steve. Well, we like to get you candid, you know? Yeah. Yeah. We did a yeah. grand intro before you came on, we did. by the way. Very but then nice. there was bells, there was whistles, some Cat strings. Numbers. Yeah. Pyro mm -hmm. Valley. Little Hill. bells. Well, just not pyro because we're inside and I didn't want anything to catch fire. But yeah. never stopped any indie promotion. <laughs> That's a good point. Very. Yeah. Lisa, Very. do you want to go next of, of who are you wearing and what are you drinking? Sure, sure. I am just casual. Um, I have a bun. I didn't wash my hair. So um, I'm just wearing my a workout sweatshirt. Um, I am drinking. I'm so proud. I actually texted my dad and my um, and Lena Yada back in the day. I'm drinking organic barley tea and mm. it's their big humongous bags here. Um, no caffeine, sugar-free. Look at the oh, size make, of those bags. Yeah. You make iced tea. You make iced tea. So you, you just make it like in, a big pitcher. Damn. Yeah. That's all I did is put it in the tea kettle and I soak it and I got emotional yesterday. <laughs> Go figure Lisa emotional. No way. I called my dad and I was like, I'm drinking barley tea. Like mom, used to make oh, and then yeah. yeah 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 and so i'm drinking that the ice melted because we were having technical difficulties but um yeah i'm I'm just drinking that it's you'll love this stevie i got on amazon i'll send you the link yeah please it's do. amazing no caffeine sugar-free um so it's just it's roasted tastes like roasted green tea that's what it tastes like mm. yeah and i and lena was like going Good God, you are more Japanese and more Asian than we are. And I'm like, I, I know, I know. She goes, I never even ordered that until I was uh, when I was a kid. So yeah, that's what I'm vibing on. Barley tea, green tea. Barley that's very healthy. You're You'll that, love it. You're in the Stevie that's... Richards fitness re regime that we're going to talk about in a moment. I am just being a very basic, uh, basic white bitch, as they say. You're never and I've got basic. Girl headband on, very Blair Waldorf. I uh, got a little. Um, Primark's finest. This is a matching yes. pajama set. Love it. And to match the white, I put my uh, Cote de Rhone in a white wine glass. So cheers. That it's pretty. I, I I like how you say that you're plain Jane. Um, you're never plain Jane, Val. You, you with with my very up. subtle wallpaper that I told everyone in the chat. Uh, by the way, last week I think it was Mickey D slash Marco at Starbucks that said something about the wallpaper, and I said, "Oh, I love the wallpaper." But Stevie Richards' fun story. I had to thank Cocodamol, which is codeine and paracetamol here in the UK, for uh, like a little minor surgery I had. And when you're on that, it makes you loopy. I swear this wallpaper was coming at me. I, it was coming right for me. It was like one of those things in an optical illusion. It wrap like you this. I was like, no. Little vines. Like yeah. this, Mickey, Mickey. It's going to get you. Like this. I know. <laughs> I mean, it's like oh, a little bit of a haunted house vibe there. Yeah. Yeah. It's a little haunted that. mansion. Yeah. 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 Love which that. I'm addicted to paranormal activity, but I want to start by um asking um CV um I had a conversation a long conversation with Tommy Dreamer um this morning and um uh, uh our 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 Sunday night heat which turned into Stevie night heat please elaborate on the story and how it it all came about and then WWE not knowing about it no, oh. Yeah, really. Uh, first, I want to apologize. I shouldn't have went first. I should have went last. I should have let the the lady. No, 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 no. I should have yes, first. I should have let you go first. Honestly, I jumped right in there because I was like holding up my drink and it felt like a okay. it was in this awkward space. You guys we love you so much. We like to be awkward here. Yeah, Steve. we dig a bit of awkward. So, 
Hmm. That's why yeah. you're, all says, for me. you're all very aggressive. I was very passive. I just wanted to. <laughs> You, you, he was very passive. About. He's very passive, you guys. But yeah. tell him about that Sunday night heat. Because I, when I talked to Tommy, he goes, you definitely have to talk about Sunday night heat, Stevie night heat. Oh, and I'm like, well, well, that's my number one question. So, yes. Well, I think the thing with the di- going back even before that, that the, the overall dynamic of our team, of our act, we understood that both of us couldn't be featured, at least not in a prominent role at the same time. When I was your literally the one of the first male valets in wrestling which i knew just like when i had to wear the the thing back there the daisy dukes and a half shirt nobody wanted to wear it everybody wanted to look tough in ecw everybody wanted to be a badass or a shoot fighter and raven had explained to me this is where i got the attitude when we started teaming like oh if i do this all the guys that want to get their crap in and look over and look strong and do this stuff they're never going to touch my gimmick because they don't want to do it. Therefore, yeah. I'm going to stand out. And we're both going to stand out. And to your credit, it it's actually easier for me to do what I did than what you did with, with Heat because you were a champion. You were on top of the women's division and all that stuff. And you you played the part which most people would probably say no to because I, I wouldn't blame you because I'm way up here. It feels like at the motion but you let the Stevie Knight heat thing develop and you were a part of that and you you had fun with it. The thing with Stevie Knight heat and everything throughout my career was I never tried to have a boo-boo face on TV. If I was dealt a really crappy situation or gimmick or something, someone most times, things people did not want to even do, which being on the secondary shows, I'm using air quotes because any TV is good TV for a talent. Right. So whether right. you're on heat velocity whatever considered to be a secondary show, you can actually get more over because nobody's really competing with you to be on those shows. Therefore, I said, well, what do I do? Do I act like I, I'm going to be on heat probably forever? <laughs> so what do I do here? Do I, and I think we had to talk. I go, we need to make it seem like we want to be here, that we chose to be on this show. How can we do it in the most ridiculous way possible? People like Tommy, Gold Dust, Spike, Maven, Al Snow, Jonathan, the, you know, people talk about family and teams and stuff. The heat, the people on heat each and every week were literally like a family, like a team. And we all tried to get each other over because we had, we really had no choice. So everybody is way Victoria and everybody I just mentioned, they're the real people responsible for putting up with the ridiculous GM of Stevie Knight heat and just, playing along with all that stuff and having angles and having backstage promos that the production guys would put on the show without the company knowing the company had no idea. Vince had no idea. Stephanie had no idea. Johnny Ace sort of had an idea, but didn't until that famous backstage uh, pre-tape where we tried to keep the services of coach and Al Snow when they, they won the job for raw, they beat Jr. and, Lawler and we were trying to retain them on heat but we had no money so she went to a supermarket forgot to take pies out of the plastic tins and we said we baked them pies which we didn't do at all but the picture, <laughs> just a picture of the moment when it happened when they discovered it was Victoria has pie all over her face because she ate some of the pies before we get the coach and Al I had an apron that said kiss the GM on it and I had a big uh, chef hat. Chef hat. <laughs> yeah. So Stephanie walks in, not knowing for seven to eight months that we're even doing this, and goes to Johnny Ace. Johnny, when did Stevie become the GM of Heat? And he goes, oh, I don't know, Stephanie. What the fuck, Stevie? What the fuck is going on? I had no idea. And he walked off and laughing. So then she came back to me a month or two later. And as I'm still wearing Stevie Knight Heat trunks for almost <laughs> a year, she goes, Stevie, I have a great idea. I was talking to the writers and um, we think you should be the GM of Heat and you should call it Stevie Night Heat. And I said, you know what? That's a great idea. Great idea. Just in case you had that idea someday. <laughs> so that's, that's the story yeah, of funny. Stevie Night Heat. That's hilarious. Was, I love the backstory, Stevie. Was she beautiful. being sarcastic? I, no, no, we no, don't no. even know, but I remember her passing by one time when I was doing the angels, like 
in um I was doing a snow angel in gold feathers or something Gold-Dust like that. Or gold ducks. I I was so happy gold uh, or Goldberg squashed me because it just meant more viewers for Steamy Night Heat. So yeah. they would get so yeah. angry that we would keep getting more over by getting beat more. But God, yeah, you were making yeah, and, and also too, Stevie, like um Al Snow and Tommy Dreamer were basically like the story writers on that. And of course you I just did what I was told because I was a rookie. And uh I uh the more ridiculous the freaking angle was, we were so game for it. We're like, man, I don't whatever gets me work. That w- that was it. And um oh. I had I like I, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart, Stevie. You made Victoria Victoria. He used to put me, I would get nervous belly, want to vomit, pee my pants before going out. And he would pull me aside and goes, you're okay. You got this. You got this. And I'm like, I'm so freaking nervous. Can you remind me of this spot? Can you, can you remind me to do this? Can you remind me and talk to me out there? Talk to me out there. He made me super relaxed in the ring and was such a team player and for a guy to be you know a manager of a a female and it was so organic we never went over anything we did backstage even on stage when I was just supposed to go sniff it sniff his earlobe and I ended up biting it and I remember backstage you said oh my god you bit my ear and I go I got caught up in the psychotic uh character sorry (laughs) So sorry, he goes, just go with it, whatever. We never apologize. Whatever you do out there, do what feels natural. And it was just, I, I want to thank you for making my character what it is today. Oh. And I'm going to cry. I don't want to, I want to, okay. God damn it. Oh. Too early to that, cry. That as a viewer and as a fan, because associating yeah. the two of you together and you guys bringing out the best in each other was just so much fun to watch. And I, I miss those sort of characters. That was going to be yeah. my question. I, wa- I want to let Stevie respond. Then I have a, a fangirl question in a moment. Well, it, it's a team effort, and you were, and you still are a great talent, and you're remembered for doing that gimmick and and, and doing it to the best of your ability. And then you reinvented yourself in TNA as Terror with the tar- tarantula. That's a hard thing to do, harder than when the machine's behind you. Um, but no, I mean, I, I here's the funny thing. I used to do that. I used to grab grab her by the arms because she would be pacing and shaking and wasting. I, all I, yeah, I, I would be like, like this. Yeah. Oh my, oh my God. Oh my God. We have a hardcore me. match. What the hell? What the hell? What the hell are we I doing? I really thought I was being mean to you. No, not at all. Right act because I would have to hold you and then get close. And, and they thought I was like, you dumb bitch or something. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like I was reading it. Right. And then afterwards, I would grab her, tell her, don't beat yourself up. You did great out there. Stop. Because you had the, you know, no fact. Like, I'm the same way. I'm insecure, but that's why the extra cardio and all the, stupid stuff I do but with you I just needed to get get you right before we went out there and right after before you had a chance to overthink anything to let you know and when we made mistakes we made them and nobody knew so that's the best part right. yeah 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 right. and I think that's thank why you, Sunday though. night thank you was you. so much More fun important. yeah it was it was, it was I a think blast. that's why a lot of people didn't didn't like the gimmick because they knew we were having fun and and making memorable memorable moments and also the job of a heel is to make a baby face like Trish Stratus an even more beloved baby face. Cause without Victoria being hated oh. and without me hitting myself in the head with a chair in front of 54,000 people. Which what he wanted to do is high in his entire career. He wanted to go, I always wanted to go hit the ropes and it bounced back and hit me in the head. Do you remember that? Really? Yeah, I, I it was at WrestleMania. I did not I, share as that. As a matter of fact, Finley gave them was supposed to be the powder spot where you gave me the widow's peak. Remember? I was supposed to kick, you're supposed to kick the powder in my face or she was, and you're supposed to give me your finish because you were blinded. I don't remember that. And okay. Okay. That was version wow. one. No. Cause what I said was let's give them, this is where you got to kind of work uh, the office. I said, let's give them something that, that takes like a million different steps to do. And is so convoluted and takes so much time with the girls on the cell and then let's give them the silly hit myself in the head with a chair. And of course, Trish was going to say yes to me, me taking her finish. So no problem <laughs> there. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's that that's the stuff that we, you know, and everybody here has had their moments. And everybody here has had their moments because of other people being generous. And the, the reason why Stevie Richards, Victoria, the characters, the psycho couple or whatever, is also because of other people 
playing along with that and getting it over. It's it's yeah. it's not it's not our work. It was because they allowed themselves to to sell for what we were trying to to put out there. Stevie, before we end this conversation, plug in your fitness, like what you're doing, like how do how do people follow you and get involved in your um your training and all that stuff. Sure. Well, I call it, I'm very creative. I called it Stevie Richards Fitness. So that's really out of nowhere. But uh, <laughs> but really what it started out was, and, and Victoria and Mickey probably have seen me not only warming up before a match, but resistance bands were a big part of my fitness journey and my rehab. I was using them all the time, quite frankly, because I was so injured all the time. I couldn't stand to have momentum from free weights and other things. That's why I always did a lot of cardio. I did a lot of lightweight and and bands. So I created resistance band training programs on my website for beginners, you know, for people to just start out, reset their fitness journey, very basic elements. Uh, and then that grew into a home gym slash garage gym brand where I review equipment. I talk about things and help people make decisions. And it, and it turned from there into an affiliate business. I have affiliate links with companies and other stuff. And it, it just really grew basically from something I had a business uh, idea that I didn't even realize. I thought it was a curse, always getting hurt, never being able to lift weights and just realized I've been doing this workout for like 15, 16 years. And for maintenance. And on that. Right. And look That's how you turned it into something lucrative and something that helps other people. That's very cool. Very cool. Well, yeah. also, also with injuries, like all the injuries I thought were a curse turned into a blessing because if you from don't believe hammer injury, from like you know all that stuff yeah you can't train your face i i learned that the hard way <laughs> <laughs> but uh but all those injuries like now it's a story and now combining it with you know it's a novelty that you have a 50 year old guy and then all of us as we get older and take care of ourselves that's a special thing like it shouldn't be but it is like to have somebody as you're all as you get older and you have experience and you can market and tell a story, it converts sales. It, it converts an audience to yeah. really want to follow you. And I've only scratched the service compared to some of the bigger influencers and YouTubers and people on social media. I'm I'm very, very like I'm I'm where I want to be though, because my audience, I have a I have a good connection with them. I'm not I'm not big time at all, which is great. I don't mean that in a negative way, but mm -hmm. there's people out there that have huge in, in all of our elements that we have and we try to promote our brands, they have huge followings. I couldn't even, I couldn't even fathom like that reel of me and you at WrestleMania hitting myself in the head with the chair and taking Trisha's finish. I've never had anything get like a million views. That's right. Crazy. So, well, too, yeah, because, they, yeah, I was saying, we had this conversation the other day. It's like the business was much hotter than, but it was hotter pre all this um social media so if we did have those type of things with like the social media with the views and the tiktoks and all what do you think what do you think those views would have even equated to compared like to the back world? then right mickey it would back probably then be in our day? because wrestling was a lot more popular it would probably would have been triple or quadruple the yes. amount of numbers that we see in some of these clicks today because the wrestling business was a lot hotter even with the casuals it's not as hot with the casuals right now you know so well, I, well, I don't want to i don't want to take up anybody's time because i can go on for no, you're fine oh uh, yeah i i thank god that we didn't have that kind of stuff back then because we focused so much more on just even valor going from just standing at ringside and taking jackets to having a, a angle with jay and all these other things I think it would have been, which it is right now, a little too polluted and not not so mm. much a true way to critically have a character move forward or an angle. Because everybody thinks now, if we just tweet back and forth, that's going to draw money. Yeah, we, draw knew money. That we had to do, we only had that five minute segment to draw the money and get them to come back or hopefully get booked by the office next week mm -hmm. that was our dude we didn't have yeah. 23 hours and 55 minutes to get over it was it was do or die time yeah. so i yeah. think in a way we were man we i think all three of us have a great perspective to know that before it, we know what what it was like in that era and we're smart enough with enough maturity and perspective to not get too caught up in this era 
right with, with likes and comments and no right. you know what i pay attention is to the reactions it's the reactions for me i'm like the reactions are night and day mm-hmm. and then yeah. when you have, like somebody come back like and you hear the reaction from the people from people from the stars of that and uh, that's what kind of made me kind of like look at it go like because they were like oh well everything's more viewed now and they're getting more likes and i'm like well is it really because we didn't count that stuff back then because i can assure you that if we did it would probably be triple the i amount agree Mickey, of I, I all agree. those I things agree. because the business was so hot and now you have stars from the past when they come back the reactions that they get hmm. You know, it's ridiculous. It's crazy. It's it's really, really yeah, because it was a different level of over and because it was a different level of commitment. And that's the reality. And I don't mean that in a in a what people commit in, like trying to have a great match. It was just more about the commitment to the character. Yes. And to the right. Yes. Line and to yeah. that. Kind of yeah. Stuff. Putting the work oh, yeah. in. Yeah. And not taking yeah. yourself too seriously. There was yeah. a quote from one of the girls. Um that said she worked with Alfred Molina, one of the actresses, and he said, take the work seriously, don't take yourself seriously. And I, am, of course, immediately thought of wrestling. And oh, thought, that's wow. great. I think people are, like Stevie mentioned this earlier about someone being so concerned with like social media and being so concerned with not being a heel and not being hated because that's not cool anymore. But I think maybe just not taking themselves so seriously is kind of a good piece of advice for anything, but especially yeah. wrestling. Yeah. Like yeah. back in our day, we had... Um, like Steve Gerwick or like some of the websites going, Oh my God, they buried my match. And I remember telling this to um, Steve Regal and he goes, how dare you read that? How dare you? They don't do our profession. How dare you? You do not take that seriously. And I was like, I didn't know it was a bad thing to say, but um, uh, Stevie, your workouts, you know, we're both in our fifties. Well, young fifties and to make it so simple yeah. and easy with bands to do in the house i'm all game mm-hmm. i would like to do a one-on-one um, workout with you with the bands on zoom oh you'll embarrass me you'll oh let's do it no, 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 no. i didn't work out i haven't I worked will, out I, since I, COVID. I, I will i will do that I, I, you, all you do is reach out i'll send you all the programs and the videos i have you're more than welcome uh, okay you guys do that and then film it and we're going to put it as a segment on god tv we can oh i can't wait oh he's going to tear me up we're gonna oh, live no. stream it actually. We're yeah, gonna live no, stream it. no, yeah. I'm gonna be on the beach. That's what yeah. I'm gonna do. Yeah, a little yeah. selfie to Vince while you're there. <laughs> and we'll tag Vince McMahon so he yeah, says, yeah. Like, Hey, where are you at the gym? Yes, please. Dude. And speaking of well, tagging we'll guys, we'll, so I'll send him a picture of us too. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. But I'm, but yeah, all I'm you gonna... guys, bookers, all the bookers out there, um, a lot of people like going asking me at Comic Cons, why hasn't why haven't you and Stevie done an appearance together? And I'm like, I know this is crazy. We were such a tag team and we were, you know, a, a duo and book it. You guys book I, it. I would, I would pay for that selfie myself. I'm dead That's serious. Really Why not? I'm very I'm very disappointed in Victoria because the worker answer should have been like, Oh, he doesn't want to do any of this stuff. He just give me all the money and I'll come in and, and do the signing. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Well, I was going to say about what you were saying before, Mickey, and I will let you guys go after this. No, you're fine. The difference, no, okay. the difference between you have albums you want to sell. Everybody wants to get booked. Everybody wants to convert merch sales. Everybody has a brand in the business to promote and do that. That's our driving force. You can like and comment all you want, but that doesn't feed your kid. Yeah. <laughs> that, doesn't, right. that doesn't do us any good. And that's the thing that we know where our energy has to be. I wake up each and every morning excited and terrified. Trust me, my wife is like, you're up at 1 30 in the morning. Oh, I had an, I had an idea about something, but right. it's up to us. And we wake up each and every morning, all of us with family responsibilities and putting others first and serving others, but still making sure that it, it's all up to us on so many fronts. Right. It's a great, yeah. great way to be. It's a great yeah. way to be. But... It really is. It, it really is. is. That's I so well that. said. And, yeah. and Lisa mentioned it, earlier, oh. Lisa mentioned tags, and we want everyone here watching to know that in the description below here on YouTube, That's and of right. course, watching on podcast, everything is below. Everything's in the description of the podcast or YouTube where you can follow Stevie Richards, who posts some amazing updates and, of course, posts all of his links, his affiliate links, and shares his expertise. So please jump on that Stevie, Stevie Night Heat bandwagon. <laughs> and get into it. Stevie, oh, thank yeah. you for being here. This was so fun. And I have to say, we don't always talk about, you know, just wrestling. It was nice to hear, like, you're sharing your stories, and we appreciate your candor. 
But honestly, just your insight tonight was really exciting for all of us to hear. I know the fans will love the backstories. Oh, and for me, absolutely. being a fan of yours and being a fan of you and Lisa, honestly, it was exciting for me just as a fan and not just a friend. So thank you for Thanks. that. Well, ladies, we have to give a final cheers for the amazing Stevie Richards. Stevie, thank you for being here and thank you for thank everything. You, this was so much fun. So thank much you fun. so much. I hope you guys have me on again. I'm very proud yeah. of everything you guys have done. Oh. Are doing, and I can't wait to take uh, Mickey's finish line. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you want to take my finish? I, oh, yeah, I, I, sign, yeah. sign me up. I can't wait. Yeah. I just want to say I love you, Stevie, and thank you for making Victoria Victoria because without you, I'd be nothing. That means, oh. I'm going to cry again. again. God damn it. Don't cry. Don't cry. No, that, means, that means a lot to me, and I think uh, legacy is big on people from our era and before us, and to know that you, you left a couple of those and left people – uh, hopefully in better situations and they helped you be in better situations. That's, it's really awesome. They, 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 yeah. they always, they always talk about wrestling in such a negative selfish way, but there's so many, there are so many good people. They're just right. not, they're not as prominent because all the bad people get so much attention. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Really, of really, really good people. Um, so thank you. And I want to thank the fans because if they didn't remember us, then we wouldn't be remembered. We'd yeah. be talking to ourselves right now. Right. So kind. So well yes. said. You're so well spoken and so classy and sophisticated. I'm running from air soon. No, I, yeah. I, oh. <laughs> oh I, I I'm thinking about it, but I don't want that trouble. I talk to Glenn still. I don't want that <laughs> trouble. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You never know. You never it could be a gotcha. You never know. Person. Mayor Stevie. Mayor hashtag Mayor Stevie. Be, it's gotta I'll be a small to beach town, and this is the way I'm gonna dress for all the council meetings. What so what is <laughs> yes. <laughs> Perfect. Cheers to you and your amazingness Thank and you. your being Here's so lovely. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I love you, Stevie. I love awesome you, Stevie. Love. I can't wait to play you in, in Retromania. But you'll lose every match. <laughs> this is the word. Go, yo, go.